It's a beautiful afternoon here in southern New England. The temperature is 79 degrees. The humidity is 66%. 79 degrees is 26 Celsius for everybody else in the world. The sun is shining. It's not raining. It's not humid. It's a perfect late summer afternoon. So join me with a tasty beverage of your choice close to hand while we take a look at the last episode of the Long Hoya Tour. It's funny, this Hoya Tour has been easier and more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Um, it was more difficult because I actually had to clean my plant room. I had company coming over after all, and you know, you want to put your best foot forward easier because once I actually started doing it, talk, you know, talking about my plants, talking about plants in general, something I can do for hours on end. And so it became kind of a fun project in the, in the long term. Um, so with that in mind, let's uh, take a walk, take your beverage and take a walk down the hall and we'll take a look at this last episode. And finishing off the east wall, I have my Hoya Linearis. Recently transferred it to an organic mix and self-watering pot. And beneath that is my Hoya Meredithi, which is getting ready to bloom again. This is one of my favorites. Those leaves are just beautiful. On the south wall, I have my Hoya Lacunosa Asami Clone B. And he needs a haircut. He needs a trim. To the left, is my Hoya Callistophylla Kalimantan, and it's turned into something just beautiful for me. Moving to the right is my little Hoya Fiji, which has taken off, really starting to grow now, and I'm happy about that. To its right is Hoya Erythrina, and there's some buds in there, some blooms in there. And there's another peduncle down here. This is a good grower for me, good bloomer too. And to the right of that is Hoya MA08. Some kind of verticillata clone. I haven't been able to find out too much about it, but it's a very pretty plant and it's been doing well. Finishing out the upper shelf is Hoya Ranauensis, which is doing okay. To the left of that is my Hoya Finlaysonii chicken farm, which is getting ready to bloom again and has turned into just one of my favorite plants. It's just beautiful. And finishing it off is my little Hoya Crassi Etiolata Splash, which is just a pretty little plant, and it may have finally started to get busy and do some growing. And that's the upper shelf. On the lower shelf, it's my Hoya Globulosa. My Hoya Spectatissima, which is blooming again, yay! To the right of that is my Hoya Chinghongensis, which is just a huge, incredible grower. Immediately to the right of that one is my Hoya Lei Chang Forest, it's got beautiful leaves. It looks like it's finally settled and kind of happy. 
And to the right of that is Hoya Morilli, who is blooming again and putting out a lot of big, beautiful leaves. And finishing out the lower shelf is my Hoya Callistophylla, which just finished blooming, and Hoya species Lei Chow Longleaf. And that's the bottom shelf. And finally, on the floor in front of this shelf, lives my Hoya Latifolia Sarawak, which has been giving me these huge, huge leaves and has turned into a really pretty plant. And in the table, on the table, in front of the southeast window, I have my Hoya multiflora, which is always blooming or budding or blasting or dripping. And to the right of that, I have my Hoya scorticini pink. And to the right of that is Hoya bignelli. And since I moved it to self-watering, gave it a bigger trellis, it's very happy. To the right of that is my Hoya Pacharawali 023. It's a beautiful, the leaves are just stunning. Got this dark edge, dark outer margin, and I'm very happy with this plant. And over here, hope the sunlight isn't blasting it out too much, is my Hoya Placata. Tucked in here is a little Verticillata, formerly known as Acuta. And over here is my Hoya species Indonesia, looking very pretty. A little Drosera down there for the fungus gnats. Here's a Hoya patella, pink. Next to Hoya vitellinoides, which has been making me very happy with those leaves. My Hoya graffiti, which has peduncles, hasn't bloomed yet, but it keeps putting out these gorgeous variegated leaves. And in front of them, have a little Hoya lacunosa. My Hoya cantiana. And finally, my Hoya Retusa, which since I moved it into a larger pot and self-watering has just gone crazy. And I'm all kinds of happy about that. And so that's the table in front of the window. On this side of the desk, I've got some little Lacanosa cuttings next to my Hoya rusifolia, which since I moved it to self, a larger pot and a self-watering pot, has just loved it. It's probably now three feet long, hanging down to the floor. Next to that is my Hoya AH01. And this one grew like crazy, and it was just growing up a storm, and it had reached the top of its trellis. And I thought, you know, let's just see how bad this can get. So I added an addition to the trellis, and it just jumped all over that. More cuttings on the desktop. I think that's an Iris Marie and a Madulidi, and that's probably a Carnosa Chelsea. My Hoya Wayetti, which is loving self-watering. 
This has been a fun little plant. My Hoya Carnosa Wilbur Graves, which is just beautiful and growing really well. And next to that, between a couple jewel orchids, is a Hoya Kenegiana intervarigated and has finally, finally put out another beautiful leaf. It put it out after I moved it to lower light. So maybe that's the key if you're struggling with it, like I still am. In this corner on the dresser is my big Hoya Bella, which really loves it here and it's getting ready to bloom again, which is very nice. And right next to it is my Hoya Bella inner variegation, which is doing pretty well. On the adjoining wall is my Hoya Bermanica. If this is a sincerely thirsty plant, constantly, and boy, if you don't water it, it will drop leaves and look kind of, well, less than ideal. It hasn't bloomed for me yet, but it keeps on growing, so, okay. Next to that is my Hoya Polynura Broga. It's not brogé, it's not a French word, it's Danish, and it means variegated. So as close as I can get is Broga. And on the upper shelf of the shelf system against the west wall, is my Hoya Lacunosa giant leaf, which is getting ready to bloom again. This one always blooms. Hiding underneath it is my Hoya GPS 7240. Up here is my little Hoya Microstemma making its way down through there. And finally, hiding out underneath all this is my Hoya Tsangi, which we have kind of this love-hate relationship with. I love it, sometimes it hates me. The top row of the back is Hoya Kikularis, very happy there. My Hoya Croniana Super Silver. It used to have that other name, but we don't say that anymore. My Hoya Croniana Black, doing very well. My Lacunosa Mr. Tent, which has taken off on a little adventure and I'm gonna to have to uh, bring him home. And in the back corner, my Hoya Memoria. Beautiful plant. It too has gone on a little adventure. And finishing off this top row on the side here is Hoya Sippy Tongensis. It's getting a little red, so it might be time to move it to uh, lower light. In the lower row, against the back wall, we have my Hoya Lacunosa Laos. We have my Hoya Lacunosa Hunsak. We have Hoya VL9. have Hoya Durangan, Hoya Parangan Durian Waterfall, Langkawi Island. 
and back in here, Hoya Mirabilis clone B. And on the shelf itself is my Hoya Stenophylla. Don't know if you'll be able to see this or if it'll even focus. Those thin, thin leaves, but it's doing well, making me happy. So that's very good. And one more to go on this shelf. And hanging on the front of the shelf is my Hoya Sigillatis. And it's just turned into a very beautiful plant. It hangs down a good two, three feet. And that's the upper shelf. On the lower shelf is my Hoya Insularis, which I am very happy to report is blooming. If I can rotate a little bit. It's very cool blooms, which is why I got it. Who knew that it grew like crazy? It's almost become a problem because it grows so well. On the back shelf is my Hoya Lacunosa Amarillo. It's a gorgeous big plant. And next to that is my Hoya Sulawesiana. It's doing okay, but it's kind of fits and starts. It's not really um, a rampant grower. Over in this corner is Hoya Breviolata, which clearly looks like it needs a drink, but it is blooming or getting ready to, which is rather nice. And hiding back over here underneath all this stuff is my Hoya Thompsoni, which bloomed for me for the first time this year. I have to go and untangle him and get it in a better situation. I need to trim these plants. Also living on this bottom shelf is Hoya species SR 2007-13, Loi Province. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Probably I'm not, but very, very pretty plant. Very happy with this one. And living on the floor in front of the shelf and acting as a support for my Hoya Insularis is this Hoya Endowensis. And I moved it to a larger pot and better self-watering a few months ago, and it's very happy. It's turned into a beautiful, beautiful plant. I love those little rough alleged leaves. They're very cool. Next to it is my Hoya Elliptica. We had some struggles, him and I finally figured it out and it bloomed for the first time just about a week ago and now it looks like it's getting ready to bloom again which is very neat and finally is hoya flagellata which has been blooming up a storm kind of reminds me a bit of a cow data bloom Really neat kind of leathery leaves. And man, this one's just, he's been around for a while here and has just done really well. I really like this plant. And that's the bottom shelf. And wrapping up the tour is my magic cookie jar. And in here I have some cuttings from my friend Mona at Plant Therapy. And everybody's ready to get transferred to bigger pots. So I have over here, that's a Hoya Carey. 
There's a Wilbur Graves cutting down here in front. There's a Lacunosa Luisa Silver. There's a Lacunosa Mint and a Croniana Silver Splash. And Mona, if you're watching, they've all rooted. They're doing really well. And I think it's time to find them a good permanent big home. It's funny, when I started this Hoya tour a couple of weeks ago, I had about 160 Hoyas. And while you've all been watching the rest of the tour, I've been doing what I usually do and buying more Hoyas. So I think next week we're going to do a Hoya tour. I have about nine or ten of them to show you. Um, and a request. I really love knowing where everybody's watching these. I have my Kiwi friends and my Aussie friends who always send me messages. So the rest of you in the comments below, tell me what city and country you're in when you're watching my videos. Because uh, I'll, I'll dig out a map and I'll look. I'll see where it is. Don't send me your address. I don't want to know that. I'm not that pervy. Um, but let me know where you're watching from. That would be kind of cool. I want to thank you for spending some time with me this week's end. Remember to thumbs up, like this, subscribe, click on the notification bell. That all helps the channel with the YouTube algorithm. A lot of the products that you see me use are available in my Amazon storefront. I get a small commission on the sales, but it really doesn't affect your price at all. If you'd like to support the channel financially, you can click on the three dots button, which is down here someplace, and then thanks. Or you can visit my Buy Me A Coffee page and there's a link in the description. I'm going to post links to the first two videos in the series and um, enjoy the rest of your week's end. Mm -hmm.